Hello, everyone, and welcome to the 12th edition of the Future of Europe conference organized by the Faculty of International Business and Economics in the Bucharest University of Economic Studies. Uh, the Vice Dean of the Faculty, Mr. Christian Poun, shall be the uh, welcome speaker uh, for today. So please, Mr. Poun. Hello, everybody. I'm glad to announce the 12th uh, edition of the International Conference of our faculty, uh, Faculty of International Business and Economics from Bucharest University of Economic Studies. Uh, this year, uh, we start the event again online, like we did uh, last year, unfortunately, due to the pandemic uh, uh, situation. Uh, but we hope that, that uh, this uh, situation, this online version of our conference will not uh, affect the quality of discussions, the quality of debates. Uh, and I, I think that everybody will be uh, uh, the same as uh, in, the, in the previous years. I want only to say uh, in the beginning that this event is dedicated in memoriam of our colleague, uh, Liviu Bogdan Vlad, that uh, recently died unfortunately, and uh, we decided to dedicate to him this, uh, this event, a very good colleague and a very good friend of us. Uh, I want also to say that this conference has a tradition, a tradition of uh, almost 15 years uh, right now. Uh, this conference started before uh, integration of Romania in the European Union in 2006. So uh, we started this conference with the idea of discussing uh, the, the, the main issues, the main problems of European uh, Union. And uh, this conference uh, became to be a traditional one. It's a yearly conference now, an international one with uh, a lot of friends and guests invited from, uh, from uh, uh, abroad to, to, to be together with us in this, in this academic community. Now I want to invite my colleague and uh, uh, also uh, the, the Vice Rector of the Academy of, of the Bucharest University of Economic Studies, Professor Dorel Paraskiv, uh, to, to uh, say, to address to us a few words on behalf of the, of the uh, University uh, Management Board. Thank you, uh, Professor Paraskiv. You have the floor. Thank you very much, uh, Christy, for uh, this invitation. Um, distinguished guests, it's a great honor for me uh, to be with you this afternoon for uh, the opening of the, our 12th edition of uh, International Conference, Future of Europe. As uh, Christian mentioned before, it's a tradition in our faculty to organize uh, this uh, conference. And at the university level, each faculty has a tradition in organizing uh, scientific events with a great international uh, visibility. Uh, this, this conference is a very special one uh, because it treats the aspect of European integration, the current aspect facing European Union uh, nowadays due to the pandemic time and due to the um, uh, challenges we face nowadays in international business uh, environment. Uh, see, uh, seeing the panels and the panelists, um, we can see that uh, it's a, a complex conference uh, with uh, topics from uh, European governance, uh, international business, uh, corporate social responsibility, uh, issues which are very actual and uh, due to the disturbing times we are uh, facing now, all these um, topics are uh, suffering. Uh, that's why we, the uh, university level, should uh, uh, come with uh, some uh, solutions for the society and with some uh, solutions for the business environment and for our policymaker in order to reach uh, a way to, uh, to develop our European Union uh, uh, in a uh, future also. Uh, we are facing um, now very challenging times. Uh, we did some studies in our faculty and uh, we uh, discovered that due to the pandemic times, a lot of um, uh, paradigm in international uh, business and foreign trade has changed. A lot of dependency of China is nowadays a big uh, issue for Europe. Also due to the budgetary issues, uh, European um, policy makers should uh, come up with some solution for the social problems we face nowadays. So I am um, positive that we have two days of a fruitful dialogue and fruitful uh, debates 
uh, at this uh, university uh, level and of course at the faculty of international business uh, of economics which is one of the traditional uh, faculty uh, in this uh, treating this field and this is the best um that they feel to treat this kind of issues at the university level so on the behalf of our executive board on the behalf of our uh, rector professor istudor i welcome you uh, to this international conference and i wish you a fruitful conference i will stay with you for the for the debate also thank you very much for the invitation Thank you, Professor Paskiv. I want to uh, continue a little bit uh, with the presentation of the agenda of this conference by saying that the conference will start uh, today in at uh, uh, five o'clock uh, sharp with uh, the first panel of the conference. Uh, and uh, tomorrow morning, starting with half past nine, we'll have another plenary session that will be uh, a specialized one will will be focused on the uh, on a very specific uh, uh, issue that is uh, that of interest rate capping, a problem that is now uh, highly debated at the level of European uh, Council, European Parliament, um, and we'll discuss this topic with uh, uh, specialists from uh, financial markets from uh, Romania, and also uh, we invited the president of Foundation for the Financial Market Development from Poland, uh, also to have a, a, a contribution to this uh, this topic tomorrow. At uh, half past eleven, the, the conference will continue with the second panel panel of the conference plenary panel of the conference that uh, will be dedicated to another very very uh, specific issue and important also for uh, uh, European Union of today. Uh, we we decided to dedicate this panel to uh, very very applied debates on. Uh, uh, on this problem of green central banking and financing. And again, specialists from National Bank of Romania and also professors will discuss uh, this, this uh, uh, very, very uh, new, let's say, new problem uh, addressed to the, to the uh, European financial system. The discussions will continue with the third plenary panel uh, that is dedicated, of course, to another problem, important problem, uh, digitalization. It's uh, uh, also a, a key uh, uh, topic for, for uh, European Union today. And uh, very, very, uh, th th this panel was, uh, organized and uh, was managed by by my colleague that is here uh, present with, uh, that is here together with us Roxana Voikodorobansu and they will uh, will discuss uh, about this very very uh, applied specific problem but also important for 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 us and the plenary uh, will uh, will uh, be closed by uh, a traditional panel uh, because uh, i think that is for the third time when uh, this panel is organized by is hosted by our our conference and that is dedicated to the economics of family a european perspective it is a panel that uh, we decided to to uh, be included in our conference because this problem of family uh, economics of fa family families it's uh, considered now a very very uh, important social problem uh, to be debated at the level of European Union. Again, again, uh, in, uh, guests from Italy, from Austria, from Hungary are uh, invited together with us to discuss about this uh, this uh, very very also uh, important problem, European problem. The conference uh, will continue uh, at the end with the panels that are dedicated to uh, our uh, academic contributors. Uh, uh, PhD students, professors, and so on, that uh, contributed to the conference with their uh, researches, with their papers uh, that will be presented and also will be published on the on the uh, conference's proceedings. Uh, our conference also uh, provides a very, very uh, important uh, publishing opportunities because uh, our conference is not uh, indexed, uh, the volume of the conference is not indexed, but we have a, a, a close partnership with uh, uh, 
12, 12 academic journals from uh, Romania and from abroad that uh, will receive these contributions, will, uh, will receive these uh, papers uh, in order to, uh, to be published uh, later with them. Uh, <coughs> we uh, are, are also interested that the, 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 the uh, papers, the works of our uh, younger researchers uh, to to be to be published and to be more more visible for the whole uh, academic uh, community. In uh, the end of uh, our uh, first uh, yeah opening uh, session, I want to invite for for a few minutes. Uh, I want to invite Roxana to say something about the way uh, you uh, will be connected. The way you can address questions and comments and how these comments and uh, Questions will be visible uh, for uh, for uh, for the for the presenters and uh, and some other technical issues if there are are needed to be to be uh, presented. Thank you, Roxana. Uh, thank you so much. Before that, uh, I would like to first thank our sponsors and leave the floor to you to introduce uh, each and every one of them, uh, as well as our partners who made this conference and are making this conference um, available, sustainable for its uh, 12th year, 12th edition. So um, following that, I will come back to explain how our audience can interact with us throughout these two days. Thank you, Roxana, that you withdraw uh... The attention on this very important uh, aspect also so our conference uh, is the, is uh, organized in partnership with a few uh, very important academic partners first of all i want to to mention the the uh, center the research center uh, of our faculty uh, the research center in uh, international business and economics uh, that is uh, uh, let's say uh, concentrated is uh, is uh, uh, keeping us uh, together and, and very very uh, focused on the researching activity uh, a, a community of professors and researchers so it's the most important uh, uh, center in, in in our in our faculty dedicated to to this specific uh, uh, issue we have also academia that is uh, uh, our academic partner and helped us a lot to 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 invite uh, uh, professors to, to to participate as keynote speakers to our uh, event. We have the uh, Institute of World Econo uh, Economy from uh, from uh, a Romanian Academy. We have the European Institute of Romania also uh, uh, involved as a, as academic partner. We have the the. Uh, Institute for Economic Forecasting from Romanian Academy and also the Institute for Monetary and Financial uh, Studies from Romanian Academy. So Romanian Academy is also uh, present in, uh, in, in our conference as a, as a very reliable and very, very uh, uh, strong partner uh, of us. We have some sponsors, uh, of course, we have Provident, we have MasterCard, we have Jitvey, we have PricewaterhouseCoopers, Romanian Airport Services, Czech Bank and Fertilia also, they, they are our sponsors. And I want also uh, to mention that uh, our, our conference uh, uh, was uh, also uh, supported by uh, a lot of uh, media media partners uh, that are also connected with us uh, in in these two days, and they will uh, write about about uh, things that will be discussed here uh, during these uh, these uh, days. So thank you, Roxana, for uh, giving me also this this uh, opportunity to say something about our partners and about our sponsors. Of course, uh, without them. It's more difficult for us to uh, to have some uh, some uh, academic events and to uh, to to uh, invite uh, professors from abroad here and also to give uh, give uh, the possibility of our community to be connected and linked uh, to them. It's very important to to build an, a community and it's also very expensive. So the financial support it's it's also very important. Thank you uh, for our sponsors here. Just to mention before that, that 
most of the partners that you have um, talked about, uh, such as Romanian Airport Services, PwC, MasterCard, uh, Provident, have been our partners for years now. We are developing together with them master programs. Uh, we are developing um, all sorts of courses, all sorts of um, events for students and for other stakeholders. So um, just their interaction in this specific event is part of our uh, connection, continuous connection with the business environment, both from Romania and from Central and Eastern Europe. Um, you have mentioned uh, the logistics of the of the event and um i would like to remind our audience that they can see us on two separate channels first of all on facebook and second of all on youtube um both channels available you can if you're part of our audience we would like to thank you for joining us today and tomorrow for uh, throughout the conference what uh, vice dean Pohn has not mentioned is that all the plenary sessions are available live stream on YouTube and on Facebook. The academic panels are available um, via Zoom. So they are um, available to those that have registered. We will post on Facebook the email of uh, our colleague Alina Alexoy, who we'd like to, uh, to say hello to and thank for organizing. If you would like to join the academic panels, just drop an email to her and she will make available the uh, connection details just for the academic panels. All the other panels are available in live stream and they will be available in recording further down the line. On both of our um, of of our live streams, both Facebook and YouTube, you can ask questions, um, you can interact and leave comments. The moderators of the plenary sessions, provided they still have the time available following the conversation with the, with the um, keynote speakers, will take those questions and um, answer them. Following the experience from last year, the uh, invited speakers also interacted afterwards. If they had not had the chance to answer the questions from the audience live, they interacted and answered in writing after the end of the plenary session. Um, the timing of each plenary session differs. So we have rather large ones, such as the one that I am honored to moderate today, uh, which is two plus hours. Uh, and then we have smaller ones, such as the one that I'm moderating tomorrow, which is just an hour. So uh, the agenda is available on the website of the um, uh, Faculty of International Business and Economics. And uh, you can see there all the guests uh, that have agreed and we'd like to thank them for that to take part in this conference. You would also see there their, um, the topics of their speeches. So um, you will get a much clearer image of the angles that are presented in each plenary session. Also, keep in mind that we have tried uh, as much as possible to present a very heterogeneous point of view. We have different perspectives, unbiased, um, as the Faculty of International Business and Economics aims to be. So uh, we are nonpartisan, as academia should be. Uh, the speeches that are presented here are not the opinion of the Bucharest University of Economic Studies or of the Faculty of International Business and Economics. The opinions of the speakers are their own. So keep that in mind uh, as well, because we don't believe in censorship in any way. We would like to keep the, uh, the debate uh, going. So we would invite all of you to ask questions and uh, interact with our speakers throughout the day. Following the experience from last year, we have inserted in the agenda some breaks because we have learned that breaks are necessary even in live stream. So um, that would be uh, why 
uh, we started the opening remarks today now, and we will continue with the plenary session at five, which is in about 40 minutes. Um, just to give you some time to grab a cup of coffee or a cup of tea and uh, join us for the conversation. I hope I covered all the elements. Uh, the um, moderators will do the spiel before every plenary, remind the audience that they can join in and ask questions. So that's that from the kitchen of the, of the, of the Future of Europe conference. Thank you, Roxana. I want uh, also to add that uh, European integration uh, remains a very, very uh, hot topic for our faculty. We have uh, professors and also researchers that are uh, that are dedicating their uh, uh, efforts to to uh, develop this subject. Uh, as uh, an academic one for our students. So uh, we are also very interested to continue this conference, the tradition of this conference in the future. So the conference, the future of Europe, we uh, still have a future, yeah. And uh, I want to say uh, also that uh, this conference, it's a good opportunity, remains a, a good opportunity for the whole community to publish to uh, yeah to uh, emphasize their their re researches results and to share these results together with us in order to improve the the, the papers that will be uh, later published. So um, we encouraging everybody to join this conference and to uh, participate to to our our uh, academic community. So uh, thank you for uh, for uh, for. Uh, all these efforts. I want also to thank you in the end to the uh, to to all our colleagues that uh, are involved in the in the in the conference as uh, uh, chairs, yeah, panelists, uh, chairs that are moderating the the, the conference, uh, that are uh, uh, communicating uh, with with uh, the contributors uh, uh, with uh, with papers to to our conference that are editing the volume of the conference, that are uh, doing all these uh, all these uh, very, very uh, hard things that activities that are uh, commonly uh, associated to an event like that. So I want to thank you to all of them. Uh, and uh, uh, I wish that they will will uh, will be will be the same in the next in the next uh, in the next years. Thank you also for for the involvement of our university. Uh, and uh, in the end, I, I want to, to, to give the floor to, to Professor Paskiv to, to close this opening session for, for us. Thank you again, Professor, to be together with us on behalf of our, our university. Thank you very much. So even if we are online, uh, I think it's a great opportunity to exchange opinions and to make uh, connections. For sure, uh, next year, we'll try to meet in Aula Magna in our university and to have a face to face debate. Now this is pandemic time, so we'll be only online. I also like to thank um, the faculty uh, board for organizing uh, this uh, top level conference. And I also like to, to thank our sponsors and the business environment involved in this uh, conference. Only by dialogue between university and business environment, we can come up and put on the table some solutions for the development and the sustainable, uh, let's say, um, development of, um, of our society. Thank you very much for the invitation and we'll meet in the panels. Okay, so we, we, I think that we can close this opening session of the conference and uh, we are inviting. See yeah, everybody Roxana, you have the floor because you, you will moderate. So <laughs> I'm already yeah. starting moderating. So uh, tune in again in roughly 35 minutes for the plenary session. Uh, it's bound to be quite a debate about innovation, bureaucracy, and the future of Europe. See you all then. Bye. Thank you.